many things family and friends welcome back to the channel guys it's your girl lynn here and y'all today we are in for the reviews or shall i say the reviews are in yes y'all so you guys know when you see that thumbnail and that basket is out it is review time guys so your girl then packed her basket with a couple of items that i have purchased and been using from the dollar tree as of late you guys know i like to share my reviews on how i use the products how i like the products if i dislike the products i really want to share my most honest opinion with you guys to see you know to just kind of inform you and maybe give you um inspiration or maybe not the inspiration to pick some things up from the dollar tree is it worth your five quarters maybe not sometimes you never know so i am here to share my thoughts on some recent items that i have purchased and um we're gonna jump right on into our dollar tree reviews so sit back and relax y'all and let's find out what i liked what i disliked and you guys know i like to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down um depending on if i like it or if it's hmm, kind of in the middle i'll let you know let's get started guys so my very first uh, review, I want to review the beautiful, beautiful headbands. Y'all know, you see, I'm, I'm rocking one now from the DT. This is actually a cloth one. So I will rate this one. This one is a thumbs up. Um, this one, I want to say, I forgot the name brand, but it is by a name brand company and it works really, really nicely. I picked up this one and there is a one that is like a gold kind of cheetah print love this i forgot the company that sells it but it's a name brand um and like i say i got two absolutely love it thumbs up um but i also have picked up some cuties um some cutie pies i really love really love this one so i noticed that i like the thinner headbands um because it's like it doesn't kind of hurt your temples when you wear or behind your ear type of thing so i noticed that this one is a definite thumbs up and those that are made like it so when they're kind of thin um kind of lightweight it doesn't bother me at all so i can be cute and not have a headache y'all so this one is a thumbs up this one for cuteness is a thumbs up i absolutely love it look y'all oh my gosh i wore it to work one day it was so so cute it's a beautiful ivory like white i love it but mm -mm. when it comes to these gave me the worst headache and so that is what you have to be careful of if you wear headbands then you already know this but you do have to kind of be careful um i thought because it's like a it is i see it's like under there it's a plastic band because it was like thin i thought i'd be okay but this honey these two little ends behind mm -mm, they were a total no thumbs down I absolutely hate that though because this is honestly one of my faves because some headbands work and some don't some fit a little too big some you know well actually they're usually too big or just right for me um so this one is just right the fit is just right but after a while you get that back headache that you're just not mm -mm. so I'm so sorry this one has to be a thumbs down because it's just I can't deal with the headache um maybe i can get creative and i can put this on another type of band that does not hurt because i am in love with that white i am that's really cute and staying along with the hair um items we got the hair clips again i threw away the packaging so i can't remember but these claw clips work so nice i love this one because look at the color y'all you know i love me some like natural tones and things like that so when i want to clip my hair up um was like if i'm washing my face or something in the morning and i just want to get my hair out of the way i love 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 using the claw, claw clips so this is a thumbs up for the claw clips everyone i've tried i've liked okay guys next a household item i found these three ways sunbeam um led lights and i absolutely love it y'all um, so I found these a long, not a long time ago, but it's been a little while. Um, I do try to share things that I saw recently in the Dollar Tree, just in case you guys want to go out and find them yourselves. I do try to share, but I totally forgot um, that I even bought these, but y'all, a light bulb went out. <laughs> so guess what? Your girl had to go look up her light bulbs, which I purchased at the Dollar Tree. They may still carry this one, but if they don't carry this one, I'm sure there is some type of light bulbs in your DT, but y'all i really liked how these work and they are three ways so i can put it um if you just screw it just a little bit it'll be like dim if you keep continue like the more you screw the brighter the bulb will get um y'all it really does work 
thumbs up. So the Sunbeam three-way LED. If you can find that in your DT, go ahead and pick that up, honey, because that's, that's a steal. This is an oldie, but a goodie, y'all. So this is back. So Dollar Tree has started carrying this peanut butter. They have the regular flavor. And my favorite is the honey, y'all. So I picked up one of these and I like really, really recently. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, you know, kind of show that again in my reviews because this stuff is so good. For $1.25, you are not going to find peanut butter uh, a lot of times that cheap unless you're a couponer and you can get it for dirt cheap or free or however it works. Um, peanut butter is just not that cheap. I'm sorry. I know for me... Um, at least two or three bucks for, it depends on what size you're getting. So to get it for a dollar 25 and in this honey peanut butter, I absolutely love this. So I wanted to share it again. This is a thumbs up. Um, I took it to work and even my coworkers loved it. So now I got to buy more. <laughs> yes, y'all. Yes. On this honey peanut butter. Next item is also a foodie item. Yes, y'all. You remember I was on the hunt for these fudge and eco uh, cookies. I did try the lemon. Y'all know I love me some lemon. So the lemon was a thumbs up, but I also like the fudge. So the fudge, I actually had it with coffee. So I'm going to say I enjoyed these cookies more with a warm cup of coffee because it kind of melted the chocolate and the cracker. So the cookie, uh, to me kind of reminded me a little bit of a graham cracker. It's not graham cracker, but it just kind of reminded me of that. But, um, I don't know. It was so good with coffee, y'all. So if you have it with milk, I'm not sure, or alone, because like I said, I tried it with coffee um, and I liked how it just kind of was all melty in my mouth. So these are good. Pick them up if you see them, the lemon or the chocolate. Yes, y'all. Our next is another foodie item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, it's empty. So you really don't need to know. But y'all, when I found these and I found the unicorn, which are purple and they are cotton candy flavored, also delicious. Yes, 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 a thumbs up. Um, I actually ran into these though in one of my very recent walkthroughs, maybe not yesterday, but the day before, and they had them in a three buck section. When I purchased these guys, they were $1.25. Your girl picked up both flavors. Um, absolutely loved them. I don't know if they're like what they may be in your stores, but I caught them for $1.25. And I think some of you guys did see them after I showed them in a walkthrough for $1.25. I don't know what they're doing, but right now in one of the stores I visited, it was three bucks. But they're still good. They are really, really good. And for $1.25, your girl was all over it. I love me some waffles. I'm a sweets girl. I love waffles, pancakes, all that type of stuff. And we still got some foodie items. Y'all, so I was watching Anna from Only In My Dreams, and she showed this more than once. And I was really, really curious about it. So it was these seasoned collard greens. And she was saying they're really good. They're by Margaret Holmes. I've seen them a lot of times in Dollar Tree, like literally every time I go, um, or just about. I've run into them all the time, and I have never thought to pick them up. We love collard greens. When I do make greens, I make collards, okay? Okay. Um, they're my fave. And so I was thinking, should I pick that up? And so they say they are seasoned. And if you look closely, you see like the little red peppers in there and it says it's heart healthy. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just pick one up. Y'all, your girl went in there. I picked this up. I made it with our dinner as a side. And oh my gosh, like some of us like to add just a little bit of our own touch to things. I literally added just a little and I did not need to do that. These are amazing. They're so, so good. So I stopped at another Dollar Tree. I want to like that. I think the day before yesterday. And let me show y'all what I picked up. Okay, guys. So your girl picked up this because the can looks the, the same, right? Then I looked at it and I was like, oh, wait a minute. This is seasoned black beans. And as you can see, it's not open yet. I thought I was picking up greens. And when I looked at it, I was like, oh, wrap their black beans, but we love black beans. So I, cause I, I was putting like three or four of these in, in the cart, baby. This was going, I'm like, I, I need to rack up because when I don't feel like, you know, going through the whole thing of y'all know if you clean greens and all of that, then, you know, this is such a great shortcut, really quick and easy, tasty. Um, and now I'm kind of excited to try these. So when we try these, I will let you guys know they are a pop top, which I love. 
um, as well. But yeah, I picked these up and I'm grabbing two to three or like four cans thinking I'm picking up the greens and it's the black beans. So I just grabbed one can of the black beans because I want to try them. But these thumbs up, y'all thumbs up. Um, I don't even think the glory greens in a can taste as good as that. And they still have a little bite to them. Um, the glory greens in a can can be a little soft or a little mushy to me. These had a great consistency, even though they're very chopped, they have a great consistency. So I'm on that. If you're, you know, you live alone or you don't have to cook for, but maybe one or two people and you're, you know, you don't probably want to go through all of that girl, pick them up, add them to your dinner. Alrighty guys. Another item, the Sukin, y'all. So this is the Sukin Moisture Restoring Night Cream. Absolutely love it. And the one thing I've noticed about all the Sukin products that I have found, they all have a light lemon like smell to them to me. And so this one is nice. It's a nice consistency. I put it on at night. I absolutely love it. And then in the morning, I use the hydration one. Yes, y'all. This is also amazing. And you guys know, Sukin products are not $1.25. So this was a deal. This was a steal to find this. Um, and I also have the hand wash. I did not bring the hand wash with me. It's over on my sink. But the hand wash is also a thumbs up. And it also has like that lemon type of light lemon scent to it. But y'all know the Sukin is a thumbs up. Those are definite, definite thumbs up. I don't know how many of you guys have been able to find some of the Sukin products. Um, I'm still kind of on the hunt for a couple. I never ran into the body wash. A lot of you guys found the body wash. Um, and then like, not just the body wash, like a tall bottle. Your girl has been on the hunt for that tall bottle. Have not seen it. I've only run into the hand wash and the moisturizers, but I'm in love with the moisturizers. Thumbs up on the Sukin moisturizers. Now this next item got me in a chokehold, y'all. I cannot believe how well they work, how much I'm in love with it. Oh my goodness. So I never would have even dreamed that I would have liked it this much, but y'all, this is by Spa Luxury and it is the Love Struck um, body wash. So Quick, uh, like quick story or fun fact. I don't know if it's a fun fact, but it's a fact. <laughs> um, I had a twin sister and my twin sister, one of the, her favorite scents from Victoria's Secret was Love Spell, I want to say. Yeah, Love Spell. She loved it. Now, back in the day, I did not like the way Love Sm Spell, y'all can't get it out, <laughs> Spell smelled back then. But I don't know, you get older, it's like things change and... I actually found a bottle of love spell amongst my bottles of like, cause y'all know if we collect scents, like I love bath and body works. So I have plenty of different, um, sprays and all that type of stuff. Happened to find a love spell. And I think it was a gift from my sister. So I've had it for years, y'all. I've had it a long time, but I smelled it and it just made me smile. I just, I'm sorry. Y'all just making me think of my sister. And I was like, I'm going to keep this like bottle forever. So, I'm in DT. I see this, um, actually before Christmas time, they had like the vanilla, they had the cherry blossom and they had this one. And I think there's like a brown sugar vanilla as well. So kind of like the dupes to bath and body works. I opened this up to smell it and oh my gosh, does it smell spot on like the love spell spot on. So then I buy it. I bring it home. I use it. I'm in love with the suds and everything. When I say pick this up, I don't know how the cherry blossom is. I don't know how the other scents are because I did not pick any of them up. But I personally, personally love this one. Love it so, so much. I may grab more <laughs> um, because it just, like I said, it just smells just like Love Spell. It makes me think of my sister. And then it's just like this scent that just kind of makes me happy. I don't know. I love it. And for it to be from DT, I'm real picky. I usually do not mess with the body washes unless like they're the name brand body washes that drop in our stores. And it's like, you already know that's not $1.25. But when it comes to like some of those, like these, I usually don't even mess with them. Baby, mess with this. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up. And then also the love struck. Cause I thought in the store, this was a body butter. So I was hurry up and grabbing it.
but actually it is the love struck body scrub so y'all i got this and it smells just like it too oh my gosh i love it um so but the funny thing is i haven't been using it so much for a body scrub i used it for a hand scrub so I don't know something I had it on the sink and like just to wash my hands I felt like I wanted like this mini I just wanted like to scrub my hands and I wanted to kind of feel like a spa moment and it's actually called spa luxury so I put it on by itself just rubbing and rubbing it is very very luxurious it feels like there's an oil or something in it. And then, of course, you have like the scrubbies. So you get this like this little massage as you're cleaning. So I use it as just especially to just kind of do my hands. I get done with my hands. I rinse my hands. They feel soft like butter, y'all. When I say this works, now I've used it only on my hands. I've only used it for my hands, not anything else. But I'm pretty sure it may work all over. I just have my own, haven't used it for anything but my hands. But I love this stuff. Love it. So pick that up if you see it. Like I say, these two got me the choco, y'all. These are just amazing. I am just blown away at how much, how close they got that scent. You know, there are a lot of dupes to things out here, um, to the original, and they they can come really close, you know? They can be almost, or you have that thing where they lose their scent and things like that after a few minutes, y'all. Those two are really, really, they are the best dupes I have come across in Dollar Tree. The best. Okay, guys, enough about that. I know I went on and on, but th that scent, like, it just won me over the way that it acts, just won me over. Last thing we're going to review are the iFly Smart Candles. And, honey, this one is empty. I have burned this one down, y'all. Um, Yes, it, it is down. But they fill these little cans, like, literally to the top. I I may have reviewed it, but I don't know. I want to review it again. So if you ever um, looking for them, they come in this little package, and this is when it's burnt, too. Y'all, I've been burning these down. I told you. These are amazing. So they are by iFly. It is a name brand. So um, I had never heard of them, though, but they, I believe, are a name brand, iFly Smart. And I believe that they came out with them to be travel worthy so you can take them on travels if you like or you can just burn them like in the bathroom uh, maybe you know just having a quiet time to yourself or in your room while you're reading or just whatever you want to do i love them i have been burning them almost every day so if i run into some more i gotta grab more because your girl been burning these up and they smell so nice um there is one that i burned and it it was louder than i thought they they're not very loud guys they are very subtle but there was one that kind of had a berry scent to it that actually filled my room. And I was like, whoa, I walked into my room and I smelled it. And I was like, okay, because usually I have that burning. And then sometimes I may have a Bath and Body Works candle burning. And y'all know that Bath and Body Works reaches the whole house, honey. That, that thing, you can smell it. But this day, I think I only had that burning alone. And I was pleasantly surprised that the berry actually filled the scent of my room. So yes, on the eye. Fly smart thumbs up on these y'all thumbs up and they're great and cute and nice as gifts. Um, I think I did give some away in my last giveaway, um, last month. And while I'm speaking on that y'all, cause you guys know, I do Dollar Tree bingo with you guys. I try to do Dollar Tree bingo or trivia with you guys once a month. Unfortunately, I had something to do yesterday, which was the last Saturday. I try to aim for the last Saturday of the month to do that with you guys. Um, but this one I couldn't. So I'm going to catch you guys this Saturday coming up and I will make sure to make a flyer on my community tab. Just you guys know though, who has been with me, you know, we do it at 6 30 PM. Um, I'm in Illinois. So check your time to see what 6 30 is in your time zone. If we are in different time zones. Um, but yeah, we have a ball and I try to just, it's my, my small way of saying, thank you for interacting with me. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting. And just thank you for showing your love to me and on my channel. I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you guys. So when I get the chance to do that, it's just my way of giving back and my way to say thank you for all you do. Cause there are plenty of us here in YouTube land that you could be watching. So I'm blessed that you're watching me. Okay, guys, um, your girl will be getting out of here. And so I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed these reviews and let me know. 
What's your favorite review of the day? All right, guys, catch you in the next one.